sly dog. You got me monologuing. I can't believe it. <laughs> Hits you like, like a boom. I like yes. it. We are back. Yes. It is no longer 2021. No, we haven't it seen is. these peeps since last year. Yeah. It's 2022. We've been gone that so, long. Uh, New Year, same bullshit. Yes. A little more tired, too. I, I'm older, you know. Like, that. the weight of life is starting to hit me. Yeah, like, you know, <laughs> you have changed a bit with that. It's crazy. Yeah, I know. It's like I turned 41, and I was like, Dad, I'm done. <laughs> like, I think I think I lived enough. <laughs> That's what it seems like. Uh, so uh, we're in the last round, the last match of round one. Hey, sixty-nine. <laughs> we are in the final match of round one. Yes. Uh, where the fuck is the the thingy? Wait. Yeah, see, uh, it's it been is. so long we forgot how to do this shit. Card <laughs> Russell bracket. Two people are already in. Alex yes. Martinez and Jay Burns. JB Joseph, right? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That that was one hell of a fucking match. <laughs> so the question now becomes, who will join those two in our triple threat Kurt Russell bracket match? Yes. For today, Kurt Russell? We have one person who's kind of to blame for this shit. Yes. And here it is. An empty screen. Hey. Yeah. Bar... <laughs> You were mm -hmm. the one who said you could out act anyone. Yes. And apparently didn't want to back it up until like the year after this because you've been avoiding playing this match for a while. I, I don't know if I said I could out act anyone. Uh, of this community, you said that. Mike has you on tape. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> so, uh, we have to test him against somebody, and yeah. according to the wheel, you get to test yourself against Ryan Payne. Yeah. Ooh, shit. What's up? What's going on? Just doing my daily bone breaking with a two by four, but I'm good. Right. It sounds ridiculous, but no, it's just something I do want to get off work. I put a, I put this thing right behind my back, right behind my neck, and my shoulders, and I just start cracking bones. <laughs> I should probably start doing that, actually. Yeah. What? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he meant breaking like the fucking board. <laughs> oh no, no, no! I just, it's the same I way that he breaks. Oh. It's the same way he breaks his opponent's bones. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I about to say, well, you didn't break the board, though. <laughs> <laughs> I, I saw him wearing get, black. Let me get a hacksaw and just cut down here, and then I'll break it. <laughs> I thought he was I, trying to intimidate me for a second. I saw him with the two by four wearing black. I just assumed he was watching Cobra Kai. <laughs> oh, fuck okay, pleasure. guys. We will judge to see if you're any good at all doing monologues from yes. movies. Uh, we cannot do it by ourselves. We need a third judge, so that third person can be a tiebreaker vote. And we had somebody was supposed to be here, but he had COVID. Didn't make it. So to be fair, we brought in another person who also has COVID. Co the the so. captain. COVID. I am automatically voting for Ryan for every round. I do not care. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Rose. Now that is some video store bullshit. <laughs> now welcome to the video store, motherfucker. Hi. Rewind the tapes. Okay. Uh this is how this works. Round one, you get to pick uh short term monologue, something between one and two minutes. We will not penalize you for going short or long on that one because you know it's first round, everybody's getting acclimated. Yes. We will see how well you sell it. Your tonation, your your pitch, everything, you know. The fact that you memorized it with months to prepare, <laughs> we will may consider that or not. <laughs> and uh I will. That's how we go. Okay, I'm gonna get a coin. See who goes first. There we go. Bar. 
since you're better than everybody else, apparently, you're not calling this. Ryan is. Ryan. When the coin is in the air, I won one out of five leagues. I went to three Super Bowls out of the five, but lost two because COVID fucked me. Okay. Uh, here we go. When the coin is in the air, you call it heads or tails. You ready? Tails. Oh, no. In the air. I go ahead. I thought it was on lag, but go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go. Tails. It's tails. Okay. <laughs> Baby drink. So you get to choose. Do you want to go first right now or in the second round? I'll go first in the second round. Perfect. Okay. Put you in the back. I'm taking a nap. Mr. Andrew James Barr. What have you prepared for us today? Uh, I have prepared a monologue from Jim's dad in American Pie. <laughs> Good stuff. I want to take a second here to remind you also, uh, if you fuck up and you just say mulligan, I will come in, restart your clock, and give you another chance. You can do this twice. Don't do it more than twice. I will not pay attention to you and ignore you. Uh, the other thing, when you're done, just say and seen, because sometimes people take, you know, like dramatic pauses in comedy monologues. And I, I don't want to have to like guess if you're done or not. So, and your for time. the comments, we will show them after each person goes. After both of them go each round, we'll show the comments. That's true. So you don't get the comment distracted. away. Also, if I disappear from the stream, I will be back. That's fair. My computer is shit. Okay, here we go. Time starts when you start speaking. Oh, Jim. Hey, I was uh, just admiring the family portrait. It was a fun day yesterday, wasn't it? Jim, I want to talk to you about masturbation. Now, I want you to know that it is a normal thing that people do. You know, when I was younger and did a little bit of masturbating myself, I called it stroking the salami. Yeah, pounding the old pud. I never did it with baked goods. But your Uncle Mort, he would, uh, he would pinch the one-eyed snake I mean, five or six times a day. But uh, it's, like, it's like practicing for the big game. It's, uh, it's, like, it's like busting a tennis ball against the brick wall, which can be fun. It can be fun, but it's not a game. It's not a game. See, what you want is you want a partner to return the ball. You want a partner, right? You, you want a partner? All right, good. Good. <sighs> good. And see. Interesting choice. <laughs> One minute, so you want, seconds. Something you want to tell us there, Bar? <laughs> Anything you want to talk about? In front of the world. <laughs> Let's talk about sex, baby. I appreciate the side look there. The awkwardness <laughs> catches the, the, the scene very well. Mike, I never. Going? Yeah, you, you had the right tone for it, and the you looking off like that. Good shit. Go. Anything to add? I don't watch movies about guys fucking pies, so I don't have any. I don't have any. I don't have any, don't have any frame of reference, but but uh, but but it was pretty good. It's pretty good. I was gonna say, like from the monologue, would you now be interested? You know, fucking about it. <laughs> no, I, I'm not into the sick shit, Marius. It's okay. Maybe we can put Fair. it back together before your mom gets home. I need you off screen. <laughs> oh my god, Ryan. <laughs> Do you fuck pies? No. Okay. I mean, unless it's pumpkin. Uh, there's, uh, there's some hesitation in that, in that answer. I don't know. <laughs> I, I had to think about it for a second. He took a, dramatic, he took a dramatic pause before he answered that one. 
Okay, what do you have prepared for today? Well, mine's not – I did not go the comedy route. I actually decided to go the – pretty much the movie moment route, and I decided to pick my monologue from Morpheus from The Matrix Reloaded. Reload? Oh. Interesting. Yes. Okay. You know, Resurrections is still on HBO Max. It's in vogue, as they call it. Start. Zion, hear me. It is true what many of you have heard. The machines have gathered an army, and as I speak, that army is drawing near to our home. Believe me when I say we have a difficult time ahead of us. But if we are to prepare for it, we must first shed our fear of it. I stand here before you now truthfully unafraid. Why? Because I remember. I remember that I am here not because of the path that lies before me, but because of the path that lies beneath me and behind me. I remember that for 100 years, we have fought these machines. I remember that for 100 years, they have sent their armies to destroy us. And after a century of war, I remember that which matters most. We are still here. So for tonight, let us send a message to that army. Tonight, let us shake this cave. Tonight, let us tremble these halls of earth, steel, and stone, and let us be heard from the red core to the black sky. Tonight, let us make them remember that this is Zion, and we are not afraid. See, and I apologize to everyone who has headphones on. If I don't misremember, after he finishes that, there's an orgy. So we are sexual today, pies. <laughs> Zion. Nothing gets you more yeah. after a rousing speech. <laughs> Mike, what do you think about Morpheus here? Oh, a minute 30 seconds, which is perfect time for this yeah. round. No, I, I thought it was actually really good. You know, I was hesitant when you said which uh, speech you were going for there, but. You pulled it off. I liked it. Good shit. I think this is the superior Matrix movie. It's not a popular opinion. <laughs> uh, I like it a lot. So it had a lot to live up to. And it needed a little, a little bit more sexy. But other than that, it's pretty good. Go. I don't watch Mad I don't watch bad Matrix sequels. Sorry. I, I, I don't <laughs> I don't I don't endeavor into that realm. Uh but that was pretty sick. It's... What do you watch? Good movies. Good fucking movies, according to Mike. Right. Bringing in bar back. Okay. And now we vote on the board. See who actually, you know, did it best, let's say. And once we vote, I will share the comments. We got a couple of them, actually. Uh -oh. What's with the big board there, Carl? <laughs> it's not a big board. What are you talking about? It's a normal sized board. It's a big boy board. <laughs> this is a normal sized board. <laughs> this is also a normal sized board. <laughs> That's a big board. And this is a marker. Okay. We have the same size board. <laughs> No, it's not. My board's bigger than your board. <laughs> My board's double the size that yours is. It's bigger. No. Than the <laughs> what do you vote for and why? Uh, I said bar, I guess. Uh, <laughs> if I have to vote for bar, I guess I have to. Uh, because I thought both did pretty decent. Um, I think bar uh, gave me a little bit more characterization uh, with his. He kind of made his part a little bit more his own. It felt a little more like he infused some uh, some awkward tendencies in there, uh, but maybe that was just Bar being Bar, so who knows? But you know, I'm not awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you weren't so fucking awkward, bud. <laughs> Mike, what did you vote for? You know, you both did good, but uh, I actually agree with Coho there. I gave a slight edge to Bar because of the awkwardness. I thought you pulled off the awkwardness really fucking well with it. 
Apparently, my boat does it, Cambodia. It would be a clean sweep. I also <laughs> agree. Uh, if you had seen Eugene, uh, you know, it's Eugene, Eugene Levi. Levy. Yeah. Yeah. Levy, yeah. Not, mm. not related to Zachary Levi, I think. Eugene Levi, it's actually uh, <laughs> it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, uh, Kevin Cluster, not related to Robert Caster. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty, pretty funny, dude. And he has very quirky mannerism things. And even though Bart was not doing an imitation, I actually feel like he embodied the spirit of the situation. And I think that that worked for this. Point bar. And here okay. comes the comment. What do we got here? <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I hold on. I'm sorry. I thought Matrix Reloaded was the video that had the orgy. I didn't realize this was a gangbang video. <laughs> They're all just teaming up on bar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so for round two, well, it, uh, it's implied. The yeah. orgy is implied. Yeah, it's implied. Drew's just out of eleven on the horny <laughs> scale right now. I don't. <laughs> what the hell, Drew? <laughs> Okay. He's going to send me a uh, link to Pirates in a minute. I'm very worried. <laughs> Ryan, you have to win this round so we who go to a tiebreaker. <clears throat> because it's a short show. It's just two monologues. So, what do you have for your second one? My second one, uh, I decided to... Uh, well, fuck, I picked Scrooge. It's pretty much the ending, speed, the ending uh, scene from Scrooge. Which version, though? Scrooged, uh, the Richard Donner directed, Bill starring Bill Murray. Oh, Scrooged, Scrooged. Sorry, I, I, I'm not, I'm I need not to I don't hear. I don't hear the soft D's. <laughs> Good shit, Bill Murray. Of course, the D was supposed to be hard, but I went soft on it, so that's on me. <laughs> don't, don't do the soft D. Okay, <laughs> we got the timer. While these people laugh their ass off in the back. Start. The time starts whenever you start. Remember, this had to be a little longer, two to three minutes. About okay. It's Christmas Eve. It's the one night of the year where we all act a little nicer. We smile a little easier. We cheer a little more. Just for a couple of hours out of the whole year, we are the people that we always hoped we would be. It's a, it's a miracle. I mean, it really is sort of a miracle when you think about it. Because it happens every year, every Christmas Eve. And if you waste that miracle, you are going to burn for it. I know what I'm talking about. You, see, you gotta, you gotta do something. You have to do something. You have to take a chance. You have to get involved. There are people that are having trouble making their miracle happen. You know, there are people that don't have enough to eat. People that are cold. You can just go out of your way and just say hello to these people. You can just go to your home, take an old blanket out of the closet and just say, here. You can make them a sandwich and just say, oh, by the way, here. I, I, I get it now. And if you just, if, if you give it, then, the, then it can happen. The miracle can happen for you. And it's not just for the poor and for the hungry. It's for everybody who's got to have this miracle. And it can just happen for tonight for all of you. If you believe in the spirit, if you just believe the miracle will happen for you, and then you'll want it to happen again tomorrow. And you won't be one of those bastards who says Christmas is just once a year and it's a fraud because it's not. It can happen every day. All you got to do, you just got to go want that feeling. And if you like it and then you want it, you'll get greedy for it. You'll want it every day of the year for the rest of your life, and it can happen to you. I mean, I, I believe in it now. I believe it's going to happen to me, and I'm ready for it, and it's just great. <laughs> it's great. It's a good feeling. It's really better. It's better than I have felt in such a long, long time. God, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for that feeling. So for everyone at home watching, Merry Christmas, everybody. And scene. This probably would have played better like a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> right at what is the <laughs> what is what is the name of the of the girl from uh Karen Indiana Allen? Jones? Karen Allen? Yes. Yeah. He has no shot with her. <laughs> Two minutes, eleven seconds. Good time. Uh, go, what do you think? 
I thought that was good. I actually think that was better than the last monologue. Um, I think you put a lot more just like you let you let the monologue wear you out the right amount where it worked for you, where it was like you 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 made me believe that you believed what you were saying, which is which is a big part of this whole thing. So uh, I think you did a good job. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, I actually 100% agree with Ko. I think you this one was definitely stronger than the first one. And your slow transition to that second half, which you needed to hit that second half, you hit it well. And you ended it very strong. Good shit. Thank you very much. I like this movie. I think it was okay. okay. I can't compare Bill Murray. I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> that, that, that may be an issue. But I was remembering the scene after. I was like, huh. Maybe I should watch it again. Because it reminded me that I kind of found him a little cringy in that scene. <laughs> you didn't feel cringy, which is good. But the scene itself, I was thinking about it. I was like, uh, so that maybe is the reason why people don't like Scrooge as much as more as, you know, the Muppets Christmas Carol. Right. Okay. <laughs> Going off track there. <laughs> Bar, what do you have for the second? Uh, I will be doing a Nick monologue from 1956's The Harder They Fall. Can we vote for Ryan now? <laughs> I have a question. I have a question. Does this one have Jonathan Majors in it? No. Oh, then I don't give a fuck. Get the fuck out of here. Okay. You go, girl. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I have talked until my voice is hoarse. A priest! thousand miles away writes a letter and all of our dreams go up in smoke when you stepped off that boat when i looked at you i made you a promise you remember that i promised you a chance at the championship heavyweight match and i got you there it wasn't easy it took the efforts of every man in this room and we did everything for you danny danny is the best possible trainer and he treated you like his own son george george taught you the tricks and the trades of how to win this game leo poured money over you like water so you could have comfort and protection the best that a fighter can get max max scouted the other boxers for you so he could pass it off to danny and george so you would be prepared vince frank they watched over you like you were a little baby. And Eddie, Eddie beat his brains out to make sure that the name of Toro was known all around the world. Why do you think I did this? What, you think it was for the money? No, 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 no. I wanted a champion. I bled for you. I worked for you. And you sit there and you go, no. I don't want to fight. I want to go home. Listen here, you listen to me, Toro. Now, if you quit now, you're not only, you are not only shaming yourself, but you are robbing every man in this room of what he's worked for. How can you be so selfish? See. Two minutes. Boom. Okay. Why are you up there? Okay. Oh, I'm up here. Oh. This is confusing. I don't like it. Yeah. We're gonna <laughs> say. You say, why am I in your, I'm in your spot? Now I'm in Mike's spot? There we go. Mike Hound. What do you think? All right, so I have not seen this. But I 100% believe you, your fucking speech. You did fucking well, man. I have not seen this. I don't even know what the fuck it's about. But I fucking believed you. That's good shit. I also have not seen this. I I don't know how this transitions into a sex scene, which is the theme of the day. <laughs> but it's weird. Go, what do you think? 
Uh, this uh, there was a distinct lack of uh, cowboy language and cowboy speak, <laughs> and lightning with the blam blams. I was I was expecting him to say lightning with the blam blams at least once. Is it Western? Um, no, 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 no. The, the <laughs> Western that came out this year called The Heart of They Fall. Um, but no, that's not this movie. Uh, you did good. I thought this was uh, well done. Um, it almost sounded like it could have been like a Rocky monologue. So uh, it was a good job. Good job. The only Western I saw this year was The Power of the Dog, and that had a lot of sex. Isn't that a Western? That a Western? <laughs> Gay sex. That's what he had. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, Motor on this people. Oh, are there any comments? Oh, yeah. Uh, let's share the comments. <laughs> Oh shit! Back to the glory. <laughs> sure, this is <laughs> Yes, great Slay. fucking movie. Drew just has a real big thing for Miss Piggy, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was the uh, during Barth thing. <laughs> what? Where? <laughs> What's the yeah, it's asbestos. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, as best as possible he can get. No, okay, now okay, take him out. Here we go. Take okay. him out. <laughs> Mike Hanley, who do you vote for? This one was a lot fucking tougher. You both did really fucking well. But I had to give the flight edge to the man that made me believe a fucking speech of a movie I had not fucking seen. I gave the flight edge to Barr on this one. But Ryan, you killed it too. This was very difficult. I'm going to split the vote in this one. Ryan, I think, was a less douchey version of a Bill, Mush, a Bill Murray character in a movie that apparently I don't think I like as much as I thought I did. Which is a weird effect to have when you do a monologue. I don't know. Cajo, is it over or are we going to the tiebreaker? See, I thought this one was really close, like Mike said. Um, I really liked the performance of both. Uh, and at the end of the day, it ended up being like literally by the by, by the cost of a coin. Uh, but um, oh, fuck, really? Okay, I so said bar again. Really fine, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I think bar. I think bar did a great job of giving me uh, of giving of giving me the the spell. I I'll be honest. Bars made me feel like I was disappointing people, uh, which I did. I did appreciate because I feel that way all the time. Bar. <laughs> so uh, I came here for an escape for forty minutes. You. I came here for an escape for forty minutes, uh, and I and uh, I, th- I thought I did good. But Ryan, Ryan did a good job. <laughs> yes, I, I always do that. I have to be okay. Uh, Andrew, you could back up a little bit of your bullshit. Uh, apparently, you are good enough not to be eliminated immediately. I <laughs> uh. <laughs> Good that I could back up my own words, apparently. <laughs> um, Ryan did a great job. That second monologue in particular was really strong, really solid. Uh, halfway through, I had to like actually take my headphones off so I wasn't psyching myself out <laughs> listening to how good Ryan was. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just happy to move on. Now I have to find another two-minute monologue, which, shit. Do you think you have what it takes to be Jay Burns and... Someone else I forgot. Who's the other one? Martinez. Uh, Alex. Alex. <laughs> uh, J- let's just say that if Jay pulls out Shakespeare, I'm going to pull out Shakespeare. Don't pull out anything. Shit, I should. Uh, <laughs> Ryan. Jesus Christ. Ryan, you did not become successful today, uh, but you did have a strong showing. I think it was uh, also maybe the, the you know the running around, try to get here on time to do the thing. Maybe it doesn't put you in the right headspace, but you could pull a pretty decent presentation either way. So would you be interested in coming back whenever we decide to do another one of these after the tournament? Well, yes, I definitely would love to come back. And uh, it, I, I appreciate you uh, putting that out there, uh, Nazario. But honestly, even then, still had plenty of time before this. It just got down to the moment. Everything just left my mind, so it... To, I need a thirty. I need a couple minutes just to regroup myself. But no excuses. I I can't. I pick movies that I love that I wanted to you know do the monologue for. 
I didn't want to go insane, pick Shakespeare or do Strindberg or August Wilson. That can be whenever I take up acting classes. But other than that, I wanted to do movies that I loved. <laughs> but yeah, I would definitely love to come back. And I knew going up against Barr, he was going to he was going to be literally the toughest person I was going to have to perform against. <laughs> According to him, yes. Yo, if you did Strindberg, I would have just been like, all right, no, just give him the round. <laughs> Come on. It's for you. Yeah. I, I would need to find my old uh, theater textbook <laughs> if I wanted to do Strindberg or Drew. Gets... Drew, I'm I'm gonna get real close to this microphone right now because I want to make sure you hear me loud and fucking clear. <laughs> Never ever ever <laughs> talk to me in the comments of Twitch <laughs> about kinks and kinks kink shaming ever again. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Go watch Pirates, okay? Educate yourself. <laughs> so with that, so with that guys, we are done. Putting this guys in the back for a second. You two. We got the Kurt Russell bracket. The triple threat. It's going to be Alex Martinez versus Andrew Barr versus Jay Burns. The Steve Gutenberg bracket is going to be Caleb Boatman versus Caleb Coho versus who was it? Chris Diaz? Chris Diaz won? Yeah. God dang. Chris Diaz. <laughs> and the Bruce Campbell bracket is going to be Amaru Moses versus Douglas Castle versus Will Cohen. The, the people who lost in that bracket. Oh, yeah. No, that was a rough bracket. Those are going to be triple threats. The rules are going to be slightly different, but the spirit of monologuing will continue. Yes. So if you enjoy the show so far, come back in a couple of weeks when we have these insane things that are going to happen because they will have to have some things they don't expect from it. We will give them bullshit to read. Trust me on that. Mike. Anything else? Uh, do not, before we leave, let's um, say that we have a bunch of shit coming up this year. I know that we took a small break at the end of the year, but we're coming back with more movie games, more monologuing. Uh, me and Rose are actually going to be doing a show. We're going to try it once a month about working at the video store. Stories behind the fucking counter, as you will, which should be very fucking interesting because we got a lot of fucking stories to tell. I'm uh, going to be doing the horror tournament coming back. Horror tournament, nice. 2000s horror, uh, I would say probably two weeks, depending on everyone's schedules. Um, other than that, we got uh, more shenanigans on the way from all of us. Blockbuster plays awesome. Blockbuster. Nazaro's going to get to fucking play. He that got the game. So we definitely going to be playing that so Nazaro gets a chance to fucking play it. We eventually need to do the, the championship match for that. Like, yes. whenever we can get six people in the fucking same time. <laughs> also, this guy. New episode of, like, 500 Stones published 10 minutes ago. I saw an alert going up. You know, watch that. You know, give it a pity watch. Yes. And then the Australians. They're doing their uh, reactions to old trivia shows. Go fucking watch that as well, man. They're doing fucking great shit. We got they a lot of fun it. shit coming up. They, they told me they have something funny coming up. So, uh, I don't know what it is, though. I think everything they do is fucking funny. Yeah. Also, in Multiplex, are we doing something different again? Yeah, something different is coming back, which we're going to have... With a couple this of guy. Stuff. Yes. Yeah. Producer Man, who's actually going to be writing. I am writing. Episode, I'm writing the first which one. Which is going to get interesting. I still, haven't, I still haven't started yet, Mike. <laughs> I haven't started yet, Mike. You got a couple of weeks. I got faith in you, man. I know you're it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a wild. <laughs> Enough, Ryan. Uh, yeah. We don't have shows, any shows with you, and that's it. <laughs> so, thanks for watching, everybody. See you on the next time on Monologuing. <laughs>